Hi students, uh, now in this video lecture we will go through the second application of electrolysis which is electro refining. We call it electro refining of metals, right? So electro refining of metals is purifying metals with the help of electricity is electro refining of metals, right? So in this video lecture we will see electro refining of copper, right? Because copper consists of impurities of other metals. Mainly the metals that are purified electrolytically are consist of other metallic impurities. Right? For example, mercury, silver, gold, lead, all these kind of impurities are present in metals. Right? So metals needs to some metals need to get rid of these metallic impurities to attain 100% or near 100% purity. Right? So why do we do it? electro refining of copper when it contains metallic impurities in minute quantities the reason is we know that uh, the most important use of copper is in electrical transmission right and for electrical transmission because we use these copper wires in our home wirings right and for and for this copper should be a good conductor of electricity that is copper since we are using it in our homes and in other places these copper wires so copper wires should be able to conduct electricity 100% near 100% right if copper contains other impurities metallic impurities it will lower down its electrical conductivity right and just to get rid of these metallic impurities copper needs to be purified electrolytically using this process I'll repeat copper is employed in electrical transmission right and for that purpose it needs to be 100% pure right so to, so to achieve that level of purity or near to 100% 99.99% percent purity what we do is we do electrolytic refining of copper wherein we will remove other metallic impurities or mercury copper I'm sorry mercury lead gold silver from copper right now let's see how we will do it this is the arrangement of uh, electro refining of copper in this arrangement you see these these red lines right and then you have these black blocks right the red lines represent pure strips of copper right and the black blocks represent impure metal that we need to purify right so this is how it is arranged and this is I just try to I'll just try to show you what we are doing here in simplified manner right so as we know from our uh, previous electrolysis discussions that we can made a node to ionize right we can place a metal right at a node and we can make it to ionize an anode can ionize and dissolve in electrolyte and from there it will migrate to cathode right so here what we are trying to achieve is we are trying to purify copper right so copper pure copper so we one thing we also know that copper ions right metal is always deposited at cathode right because when metal ions will move to cathode they will deposit at cathode in the form of neutral metal atoms right so what we will do is the anode right anode is in this anode is made up of we need to see three things anode cathode and electrolyte so anode is made up of pure impure copper metal right i'm sorry anode is made up of impure copper metal and cathode is made up of pure copper strips these these thin strips red in red are pure copper wires right thin strips are pure copper wires and these black blocks are impure copper metal right so i'll just mention it over here this is impure copper slabs right and this is pure copper strips right and in this the electrolyte light that we would be using is copper sulfate solution 
right because we need to deposit pure copper on this thin strip of thin uh, thin strip of cathode right so this is cathode and this is anode right and this is your electrolyte so let's see what will happen now just a little explanation related to this this is a impure copper block right and since i said we do this electro refining because metal in the in our case copper contains other metallic impurities and we need to remove those metallic impurities right so let's see how we will achieve this since this is copper block right it contain other impurities like that of silver gold lead right all these metals are present in this copper block right so what we can do is and we have a node here this is a thin strip of pure copper right so what can happen since this block contains other metallic impurities gold silver lead mercury right other elements so what we can do is if this copper can be made to ionize right if this copper can be made to ionize and enter this electrolyte in the form of copper ions right if this if this copper cake if this copper slab can be made to ionize all copper ions or all the entire copper slab will ionize slowly right and enter into electrolyte as copper ions right and these metallic impurities will remain here right these impurities remain right and this pure metal pure copper metal will ionize and dissolve in electrolyte right the copper will ionize and enter into electrolyte in the form of copper ions and from there it will move to it will move to anode i'm sorry cathode it will move to cathode and deposit and these ions that are coming from impure block these ions are pure copper ions right so these copper ions will move to cathode and deposit there in the form of pure copper metal right so this is how it is achieved and these metallic impurities will remain here right near anode you will see that these metallic impurities will settle here this is known as anode mud right so anode is of impure copper metal right and cathode is of pure copper metal so slowly you will see that this that these blocks right will start becoming thin why because pure copper right is dissolving copper metal is dissolving from this slab right thick slab and is depositing at cathode right so since cathode was thin strip in the beginning so slowly you will see that this cathode which is which are, which are thin strips of copper will start becoming thicker since copper ions from anode are depositing on cathode right so by the time as the electrolysis process this anode will become thinner and cathode will become thicker and this cathode is pure copper right so we'll just quickly write down reactions so let's see what is cathode cathode is impure block of impure slabs metal impure slabs of copper right and anode was anode is thin copper strips an electrolyte 
copper sulfate solution plus dilute sulfuric acid this is just to increase the electrical conductivity sulfuric acid right so now let's see electrode reactions at anode at anode anode is impure copper slab and from here we are seeing we have seen that copper will dissolve pure copper from this slab will dissolve in the form of copper ions right and will enter into electrolyte from electrolyte it will move to cathode right and will de keep depositing at cathode right so at anode and all the metallic impurities will remain here near anode which is known as anode mud at anode copper will ionize and enter into electrolyte and migrate to anode sorry cathode migrate to cathode the electrolytic reaction i'm sorry the electrode reaction would be copper will lose two electrons from copper ions this will this is so copper is dissolving in the form of copper ions and coming in electrolyte right so at cathode at cathode copper ions from electrolyte since we have taken electrolyte as our electrolyte is copper sulfate solution right so copper sulfate will form copper ions plus sulfate ions right and we have solution so this is water hydrogen ions plus oh ions right so so for sulfate and oh will migrate to anode and copper and hydrogen will migrate to cathode right so from among these two from copper and hydrogen we see that copper is below hydrogen so copper will discharge at cathode in preference to hydrogen right copper will discharge in preference to hydrogen ions right copper ions will discharge and undergo reduction at cathode in preference to hydrogen ions and copper ions will deposit at cathode right forming pure copper and at anode we know that at anode the sulfate and hydroxyl will migrate right sulfate and hydroxyl will migrate to anode but due to nature of the electrode that is anode instead of these two sulfate and hydroxyl losing electrons it's copper that will lose electrons because copper has higher tendency to lose electrons compared to sulfate and hydroxyl so copper will lose electrons and enter into electrolyte in the form of copper ions right and from there it will further move to cathode so at cathode what reaction will we have copper and hydrogen move to cathode copper will discharge in preference to hydrogen ions because discharge potential of copper is higher compared to hydrogen right because this is below in electrochemical series copper is below in electrochemical series so at cathode copper ions will migrate to cathode undergo reduction that is the gain electrons and form copper metal this this is pure metal right which deposits at cathode right and these copper ions are coming from electrolyte and it is coming from anode as well because anode is ionizing right so this is important just remember what is anode made up of what is cathode made up of right and 
slowly we need we would we need to we will see that cathode will become thicker and anode will become thinner the reason that copper will slowly slowly dissolve in the form of copper ions and migrate to cathode right so i just mention it over here anode will become thinner and cathode will become thicker right I'll, let's just uh, you can just take these down right I'll mention it over here uh as the reaction progresses anode will become thinner and cathode become thicker why since copper in pure copper slab is dissolving in electrolyte forming copper ions right and from and migrating to cathode migrating to cathode depositing there depositing forming neutral copper atom neutral copper atoms right so you will see that this will become thin and this will become thin Th thick i'm sorry right so and what is the reason that we do electro refining of copper the reason is that copper contains copper contains impurities of other metals which lowers its conductivity electrical conductivity right so to increase the conductivity we remove these metallic impurities right so some of the metallic impurities the one that i am that i've shown you this in black this is known as anode mud that i've explained you here anode mud which are mainly impurities of gold and silver right some of the impurities since we have added sulfuric acid to the electrolyte right so some of the impurities will dissolve in acid right and those that cannot dissolve in acid like gold and silver they will settle down near anode right like here and which is known as anode mud this is important so remember anode mud anode mud are insoluble metallic impurities which settle down near anode that is known as anode mud right and pure copper is depositing at cathode so this is how you will achieve purity of um, refining of copper right so just take down all these notes right and uh, just remember all these electrode reactions and the reason why this become thick and why this will why this will become thick and this will become thin right and why do we do it because copper is employ used in electrical transmission so we need to remove all the impurities right i hope all this is clear to you thanks